A wonderful morning to the Red Dead engineers. My name is Bruce Malaudzi and welcome back to the Sonnet Institute of Technology. I'll be your instructor throughout this video course. This is the Red Dead Certificate of Expertise in High Availability Clustering. This is Module 2 and specifically 2.2. We'll look at the concept of shoot the other node in the head, which is abbreviated as STONET and is also known as fencing as well. So this is a concept of um, withdrawing a failed node from the cluster. So I'll explain to you. When you have a cluster, uh, a cluster will consist of two or more nodes. And cluster nodes will, uh, when configured as a cluster, they have one task in common. Or one, if one of them fails, the other nodes will continue working and the service will be online. So, should, it, should the other node in the head, it's a concept of uh, taking out a failed node without bringing the whole cluster down and replacing the failed node with a working node uh, on the fly. So this is a this is a valuable concept uh, in terms of availability, and this means your web server will never go down. So if, whenever a node, a node fails or dies, that node can be replaced uh, without bringing the whole server server down. So we are required to install these packages. And the first package is pacemaker. The second package is PCS. And this package was already installed in module one. So we can ignore this package here. Then the third package is resource agents. So before we start configuring these packages, let's get to the topology. Okay, back on Genesis 3 topology, um, as you can see, that uh, the concept of fencing uh, allows you to pull out a failed node. In this case, our cluster has two nodes, and if server one happens to fail, we can pull it out and replace with a new server without bringing down server two, which means the cluster won't be brought down as well. So the cluster will remain working, will remain available, and there will be a failover as well. So going back to our slide, uh, if you check here, we are required to install both. We are required to install the packages on both cluster nodes. So we are required to install these packages on server 1 and server 2. And by the way, this package was installed in module 1. So we only installed the pacemaker and the resource dash agents. So let's do it now. So go to server 1. Uh, clear the screen. That will be yarn uh, install pacemaker. Next one is resource agent dash y for yes. Okay, these packages are already installed, so I can exit from here. And second node that is server two, that's yam install. Test maker. Second one is resource agents. Okay, so the packages are already installed. So once we have these packages, and then in the next module, I'll show you how to add the resources. Because if you look now, if I do PCS status, 
PCS status. If you look closely, you see that we got zero resources. So in this module, we those packages we installed are responsible for adding resources. As you can see here, we got zero resources. So if I exit here and go back to the other machine and confirm as well as PCS status and you can see clearly that we have zero resources added to this cluster so in the next module we will add the resources to the cluster and i would like to thank you for watching see you in the next video goodbye for now